that the whole world sees that it is so much more than social media right but the thing is these startups don't have much to pay that's like literally the most golden opportunity that you got to know about the off campus opportunity and you actually have connects on people who are willing to refer you Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Coding Ninja. My name is Ankush and in this video we will be looking at how to apply for jobs off campus, right? So you must already know and if you don't know I'll give you a quick refresher. To apply for jobs as a fresh undergraduate, right? Basically if you are graduating this year or you will be graduating graduating next year, there are two types of way of how you can get internships or full time offers, right? One is on campus. On campus is when a certain set of companies visit your campus for placements and in that mode only the students of your college are allowed to sit right whereas in an off campus manner the companies post a uh, opening uh, publicly anyone that meets the criteria of that opening can apply and out of that uh, the students are selected based on rigorous interview process and uh, using uh, various tactics or interviews right so in this video we will look what are the various ways that you can apply for this off campus job openings if the companies are not visiting your campus so one thing to note before moving forward is the best way to get a job off campus is to apply for jobs off campus right what does that mean right like you can prepare for your interviews like you can be good at data cycle algorithms you can go with uh, system designs you can be good with your development skills you can be good with your cs fundamentals as well but those won't be utilized until you start applying for jobs right so uh, many people have tried to organize a calendar for it that which companies hire when but you know what there is no method to this madness it is really random like uh, if you talk about a really good startup like a unicorn startups which have a valuation of more than billion dollars even they just post openings when they want to hire for a specific role right there is no organized calendar for it right so you need to be proactive on various platforms that we will discuss throughout this video and you need to apply for an opening as soon as, as it is available right so that's what i meant when i said that the best way to get jobs off campus is to apply for jobs off campus so the first platform and the most important platform is linkedin right having a good linkedin profile is a must in 2022 and future like linkedin has become such a great ecosystem for getting jobs for knowing about various job opportunities for connecting with the right people that it is like you should really not sleep on it like linkedin is the best platform and you know one thing to notice whenever you accomplish something let's say you got a good rank in some competitive programming contest let's say you completed that web development project that you've been working so hard for a month post it on linkedin keep your linkedin profile up to date it's literally like i would call linkedin your virtual resume that the whole world sees that it is so much more than social media right so you should uh, really maintain your linkedin profile now coming to applying off campus a lot of people actually post openings right and they not only post the openings some are even volunteer to refer you in that position now that's like literally the most golden opportunity that you got to know about the off campus opportunity and you actually have connects on people who are willing to refer you right so what does referring mean right referring basically means that the recruiter will at least read your resume and if he likes it he will pass on to the engineering manager basically if we talk about let's say the big companies they have a scanner right basically uh, they have a resume scanner and there's a big chance that if you have not optimized your resume right then it might just get rejected through that scanner but if you have a referral then it is certain that a human will read your resume right so linkedin is that place where you can actually reach out to people if you find an opening people are so nice on linkedin i would say honestly that they self volunteer and they are really happy to help right so uh, linkedin really helps in like knowing about the job opportunities getting a referral for it and even if you don't get the referral for it you can just simply apply right there is no hard and fast rule uh, now in 2022 that you need the referral it's a good to have but if you know about the opening definitely go to the link to the opening and apply right and this is when a company posts an opening right sometimes you what can happen that technical recruiter might like your profile and they may personal message you on linkedin right this does happen this does happen a lot this happened to me uh, in lot of cases so that does also happen right let me share, uh, share an anecdote right so i was a problem setter at coding ninjas but how i got here was the manager of code studio actually posted a job opening 
for content managers right and it was actually a I, I would say twice senior role than problem setter so i just you know contacted him that hey i would be interested in this role and he said you know what uh, you don't match this particular set of skills but i am hiring for problem setters and your profile does match for it would you like to interview for that and i said sure why not that's a golden opportunity right and i had my interviews i aged them and i got the role right so that's how actually linkedin helped me to even land at coding ninjas right so linkedin is a really great platform i would again repeat don't sleep on it build a great profile post your achievements there and like literally take full use of it right so linkedin is one such platform that you should definitely not sleep on so another way to apply for job off campus is to apply on recruiting sites right so what recruiting sites so recruiting sites like intern shala in angel.co or you know what even hire right so these are some of the recruiting sites there are plenty of recruiting sites in the market and the process to register uh, to set up here is pretty standard that you just register yourself you enter your name your college your graduating year your resume and then you're good to go right but the key thing here is that applying on these platforms becomes a bit tricky what do i mean by that the startups that are hosting their jobs here are usually very early stage like they may have their seed round their series a and in some cases they are like bootstrap and there's nothing wrong with it but the thing is these startups don't have much to pay right and i'm not saying that the main task of your internship or your first job has to be the best amount of money or the best amount of rupees that you can get but it does play a fact right uh, basically it can be like uh, you are being overworked or since you would be directly working with founders like they have pretty high standards of work and like you as a fresher or as an intern might not have a uh, bandwidth to fulfill that and like that's nothing to worry about but that's why what i recommend here is that you apply in bulk basically apply to 20 30 openings on various sites a week right let's take the it's simple math right let's take the numbers right let's say you apply to 20 internships a week right and let's say you have a 25 percent chance of getting a callback which is actually pretty good considering the industry standard right so 20 percent 25 is four so you get four interviews a week right and let's say you have a 50 percent conversion rate that when you get an interview you convert and again according to industry standard that's pretty generous i'm taking numbers so you have one to two offers a week right and so in a month you might have seven to eight offers and you know having multiple offers in an early stage startups and various startups is a good thing because like as i said that they don't pay much right you would definitely take pride in the work you do but there has to be some sense of balance there right so having multiple offers through these sites is actually good because you can directly negotiate with the recruiter or the even founder like i would say when you are applying through these sites intern shala or angel.co there's a higher chance that you are talking with like the core team with someone from the core team who is there for the long ride right so that's why i would say that when you are going through these recruiting sites apply in bulk because like the hear back rate or even the conversion rate from interviews is not very good here but definitely if you are good you have the right skills that you are good with problem solving or you have great web development skills android development skills or you're good at machine learning or blockchain or whatever is your poison that is that if you're good you will definitely get callbacks just apply in bulk so that you don't get pigeonholed into one opening or two opening right you have your pick at the letter here Right. So that was all about applying jobs off campus. I really hope now you understand my, my starting phrase that was to get a job off campus, apply for jobs off campus. And the thing to notice that the sites that I mentioned, LinkedIn and these recruiting sites like Angelco, Hirect and whatever they may be, they hire throughout the year. Right. So it's never too late to apply for any job. Right. It's never too late. Let's say we are in June. Right. So if in June you feel that you are not prepared, then Take your time, uh, prepare, use like our guided paths or our courses to prepare even better. And let's say in August or uh, September, you get better. You can apply still then, right? So these are like uh, 24, 7, 365 sort of things that uh, when the job opening comes, they are presented on these uh, sites that I just discussed, right? So this was it for this video. I really hope you learned something new. I really hope you got motivated to do and learn stuff, right? So if you like the video, do like the video, do share it with your friends. Do comment down below what you think about this and do subscribe to the YouTube channel of Coding Ninjas. My name is and I'll see you in the next one.